Hey guys, it's Scar3D9 here, and welcome back. Final episode with the Man of War, <clears throat> the Slug Class A. And we're in the Mantis Homeworld, which is a fantastic place to be, especially if you have a decent, and we have an okay, boarding party. We had a better one in the form of two of these guys. However, they may have died. However, I do have a plan. It involves a breach bomb and some flat cannons. But we will have to uh, see if we even get the Mantis quest. I don't believe we have completed the Mantis quest. Yeah, here we are. Mantis quest. Right there. That's exactly the one I was thinking about. Alright, they're going to board us. That is okay. They're going to board us in probably the most convenient room to fight them in. We're going to switch to the breach bomb. Let that charge up nice and slowly. We can turn our med bay down to tier 1. Actually, you know what we can do? Get our guys in... No, actually, you guys stay there for a second. We'll send you this way. Start draining the oxygen. Then, we'll send you guys in here. Alright, this will slowly convince them that it's a good idea to move that way. Alright, now, where to target? Now, they don't have... I don't think they have any good way to counter this. Other than, you know, slowly and steadily dying. Which is, you know, not the, the best strategy. We're gonna cloak up. Evade that one missile. We don't need to take any unnecessary damage. Uh, we'll send you down there. And warp you straight into the oxygen room. Alright, good. They're, they're weakening themselves right now. This will slowly but steadily get them in trouble. Alright, we can close those doors now. Now that they're nice and injured... Where's that bomb going? O2 room. I don't agree with that, so we're going to go deal with it immediately. That is pretty much the exact same strategy that we're using. I don't know why our weapons are offline. Oh yeah, we got hit, that's right. Uh, can you guys just not die for a second, please? Thank you. Alright, let's get our evasion up one more level. Now, their oxygen is slowly leaking out, so eventually... How did we lose oxygen in that room? Oh yeah, our oxygen's offline. So is our cloaking. Which is not ideal. Alright, you get in there. Actually, everyone just go back to your original positions. I don't even know where half of you people go. And we still have no cloaking. So you can go deal with that. Be fantastic if these guys would just die a little faster. There we go, good. Where are we taking damage now? We're just taking so much unnecessary damage from these guys. I mean, in theory, we should be dodging at least some of these hits, but we're not we're not even close to dodging them. Alright, they have to run out of missiles sometime. And we have to evade eventually. No, no, we're not going to evade eventually ever. It's never going to happen. Alright, you go deal with that problem. Alright, good, good. Alright, and we're going to get hit by that last missile, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Alright, you get back here. 
start dealing with that. Ooh, one hit point. One hit point. But we got the crew member. That's what matters. We now have an uber... uber badass in our team. Which will uh, help a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna find out what he is good at. What was your job on the ship? I know that you are now upgraded to fighter. GM foe, you're upgraded to that mission. Uh, you go into the doors for a second while we get our oxygen back. You go back to shields. You go back to heal. You go back to heal, and you go back to heal. Hopefully we'll find some way of repairing this ship, but at least we did get the quest, which means we can at the very least boast of that. Uh, you were working on nothing. You are engines. You are there. You are there. Teton, you know where you are. Cadrill, you were working on everything, I think. So, how are you doing on shields? You're perfect, so that's good. Aiden, I think Aiden was actually in the weapons room. But we'll put you there for now. Put you back on the helm. And now we have a boarding party. We can turn that back on. Or we can turn this down a level and get our halberd beam back online, which is important. Kinda need that evade right now, because we were not doing sufficiently well with the evasion aspect. Okay, if we can make it to that quest marker, we're fine. Because the quest marker, I believe, gives us repairs. But we just need to hope for the best here. I'm going to turn that down a level. Turn our teleporter up a level. Turn our teleporter up one more level. And then we're going to hope for the best. Just jump. Please don't kill us. We're going to avoid the ship. I'm going to do that. That will be safer. When we arrive here, we should get some goods. Get a flak cannon. Lots of scrap. We can now run triple flak cannons if we want. Alright, there we go. Store. Thank heaven for 7-Eleven. Alright. Sell the additional flak cannon. We don't need it. Uh, we'll keep the mantis pheromones until we find something better. Like, you know, that. Which is absolutely amazing. Oh, come on, game. You can't do this to me. Alright, we're selling the Mantis Pheromones so we can get some more heals in. Uh, Bruce Laser Mark II... No, they don't have anything good. Get that. Pick up about as much heal as we can get. Um... Pick up one fuel. There we go. We don't have anything else worthy of selling. The Breach Bomb is useful because if we want to make things even worse for the enemy, we can breach their oxygen so that they'll steadily be losing oxygen while we're fighting them. So they'll eventually die even if we have to pull our crew out. Also, it can be great for this, which is what we're about to do. We're gonna jump into their te crew teleporter. Fight them there. Alright, they're gonna board our ship. That is A OK. We're gonna fight you in the med bay. Turn our oxygen off, too. I'm crazy like that. Um, dodge it. Um, can our oxygen in this room ever run out? Oh, our med bay isn't on. That's the problem. There we go. Now we're cooking. Alright, we want the breach bomb in here. And it missed. So we need to do the double flat cannon strategy. Good, it's offline. And the crew's dead. Dodge that last incoming missile. 
out of there, get our oxygen back online. Get med bay at double power. It'll heal faster. Whew. Alright, so you guys did get to see the uh, the quest that you where you get the mantis guy. And we survived. Uh, it was only by the skin of our teeth. But we did survive, and that's the point. Alright, get that thing charging. We have a weapons pre-igniter now, which means... Our ship should be starting at full power when we arrive at the next beacon. I think we may have taken the least practical route, because we have to go through the exit to get to any of the other sectors. But I guess we'll just go this way, and then maybe take that last jump if we have time. No, we'll go this way. What am I, what am I talking about? That one distress beacon that we won't be able to get. Please give us fuel. Okay, that's very much not fuel. That is the exact opposite of fuel. That is definitely not what I asked for. Thank you. Alright, Roper, get back down there. Hmm. So we're running low in the uh, the fuel area of things. I'm going to save our positions so that this can be faster and more efficient in the future. Please give us fuel. No, I don't see that happening. All right. Um, taking all bets, guys. So if this works. Oh, come on. So we can either get... How many crew do we have? We can either get an additional Mantis or we can lose a crew member. We'll just throw the pot out. Put in the nearby area. Fuck. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright. We can take this guy out, and we will do so in a very quick and brutal fashion. Alright, good. That's offline. They're offline. Everything is offline. And this next salvo should probably finish them off. We're going to dodge just for the sake of dodging. So we don't take any unnecessary damage in the event that we need to defeat the rebel fleet. Alright, good. We got fuel. Let's jump to the exit. It's okay, if we make it to the next sector, we're fine. Alright, we have enough fuel to get to the next sector. Alright, flat cannon the heck out of these guys. And then... destroy. All of your stuff. All of your stuff is gone. We'll cloak up so we can get that extra time in. Right, they're going to fire the bombs soon. Now we have to fire all of our weapons. And... Crush, kill, and destroy. Good, we got some damage on them. We need to send you in there. Go get, get that repair on. Sorry, I bumped my mic. Didn't intend to do that. And kill them, kill them, kill them. Good. They are destroyed, and we get an additional fuel that saves us a little bit. And last stand. Alright, we made it. We made it to the last stand, everybody. Explain mission, explain weakness, get hull repairs, get fuel. We're good. We're good. We're safe. Nice and safe. Ooh, 
we will head... Well, that's a good thing. The repairs are close to the base. That's usually not the case. So let's just head up in that direction. Prepare to fight the rebel ship. Alright. We want to attack here and here. And... We want to destroy as much as possible. They're powering up their FTL, but that's not going to get them very far. Their shields are partially down, which is good. Fire there and here. Oh, it's going to be a lot of missed shots. The thing about the flat cannon is because they hit everywhere within that circle, you can get shots that have 100% miss rates, which is a thing. But luckily, they do still take out shields, which is why they're great for um, ships with beams on them. Fantastic, a store. Not that we need it, but we have it. All right, what can we choose as an option here? We can get back a battery. Not too sure I need it, but we'll pick one up. It's there, so... We'll get those last two hull repairs. We don't need anything else, really. Do we have anything to sell? No, we don't. And we have the battery charger, which is amazing. Oh, we lost the uh, repair depot. Let's go this way. We don't want to take any unnecessary damage. Fire there and there. And... Good. There... Everything is offline, and now everything else is offline, too. Such an amazing attack combo, this combo right here. So powerful. That's amazing. Uh, why are we dying? Alright, um, maybe just get out of there temporarily. We can go there to the med bay. Keep that online. You can go down there and deal with that. Because you're immune to oxygen depletion. So that means it's nice and safe for you, not so safe for us. I'm glad I turned the oxygen back online. Let's... Actually, no. We need to start working on that. There we go. I can power that. <clears throat> um, what are we... Oh yeah, we are using... Excess points on the med bay right now. That's what's going on. We need that one flat cannon online. Uh, I also like that we're one under here, so if we take one damage to the weapons, we won't lose our uh, weapon combo. And I do want to keep the flat cannons like this, because the flat cannons do a ton of damage on their own. As much as I love the halberd beam. Let's jump down to the base. It's a safe area. Nothing will happen to us here. And then we'll get that repair station. Hopefully get ourselves an extra energy bar. Yeah, we can pick up an extra energy bar. That's good. Get our evasion back up to 45%. And battle them. We'll just fight them straight on. We can handle them. Oh no, you didn't. You did not do that, did you? Oh... That is... That is so evil. Alright, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. I have the badass weapon combo. You do not stand a chance. There you go. 
deal with that problem. Oh, what's that? You can't deal with that problem? That's right, you can't. You just take it like a champ. Alright, they're gonna cloak up, that's fine. We're still doing damage to their main weapon, which is the only thing I'm really worried about. Our cloak will be back online briefly. We can call these guys back. There we go, we can do some more damage to them. Get these queued up. Not a threat to us anymore, to be honest. We're not gonna have to deal with their ion cannon bullshit either, which is good. That was slightly obnoxious because it's just going to delay the inevitable. But uh, who cares? We can take them down from full shield, so. It doesn't matter where we aim. They're gone. Good. Good, everybody. Alright, we'll, we'll save up some scrap. We probably won't get a chance to get to the next tier of anything, really. Um, we'll get this powered up. We want our guys on that thing. Fire our main weapons right off the bat. Good. And then we want to do this, I think. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Alright, good. We did do some damage to them. This is okay. They're offline and they're fighting against my guy who is immune to asphyxiation. Did they fire the missiles yet? No, they didn't. Okay, good. Who's taking damage? Oh, okay, it's just intruder's alert. Never mind. Okay, we can't do that, so we need to go just along the tip here. Alright, that's good. And we'll wait for it. Call you guys back. Fire one more salvo of this. And we'll dodge. There we go. Nice long cloak to get ourselves set up for the next alpha strike. We can actually endure pretty much their entire... Oh, okay, we didn't get get through on that one. That's okay, but we can pretty much endure their entire attack like that, so that's okay. Okay, that we did not endure very well. Please get the shields back online. Okay, they went away. That was really bad, but we'll save the um, charge up for the next round. I think we'll send you to the med bay temporarily to get that repaired. Get our shields back online. There we go. Alright, next power surge we will dodge. Oh, okay. We don't need to because they're dead. That's good. That's good. Uh, can we get anything upgraded? Anything worthwhile? Hmm. It's too bad we, we just barely cannot get that. Um, this and this. We'll just do that. 
We aren't going to need it in any way. But, yeah, whatever. Alright. Last fight. We do have to deal with that one final BS battle, though. Which I don't particularly enjoy. Because this thing has a super weapon that is really, really, really annoying. Alright, let's... Let's deal with the whole mind control thing first, though. Oh. Oh, you jerks. Dodge through that. Fire another salvo. There we go, that's gone. Alright, you guys can go deal with them quickly. Uh, no. You go there, and then here. Uh, you need to get out of that room. You guys need to leave. Oh boy. That was a lot of bad stuff all at once. Power. Alright, finish him off. Good. Now, as much as I hate doing this, we need to focus on firing our weaponry. And we will cloak through this. Um, yeah, you need to stay there. Good, we can do damage to them now. Alright, let's try and get as much damage as we can on them. Oh, our evasion's still at max, that's good. We didn't take too much damage. Are they doing damage to our... Cloaking? Oh, yeah, they are. It's on fire. Right, um, you go out that way. Just let him have his little temper tantrum. Right, fire, fire, fire. And fire, 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 more. Good. We should really be taking out their weaponry, though. Because they are doing some significant damage to us, but we're about to win, so it's okay. Alright, we did it. There we go. We got the rock cruiser. Whew. The, the last battle against the boss is always a little hectic. Unless you had that setup that we had last time where we just completely mopped the floor with him. I have had one other insane setup with, um... Oh, what's it called again? I had a, a really insane setup one time with the... Osprey. I believe it is actually this one right here. You can't see what the setup was, but I just had so many really good things. I think we had dual... I think it had the same weapon setup that I had now, but I had additionally had the Zoltan shields and the rock hole planing. So it was... No, it isn't this playthrough, because I did reset the game afterwards. This is the one we did now. All right, we did we did pretty well. We did pretty well. Let's go to the hangar. Have a look at our next ship. So this is the next one we're going with. And if we look at the uh, the ship list, we've got all of these guys, all of them. 
We've gotten all of them except this one. This one we have to beat the flagship with every B-type cruiser, which is going to take, I don't know, many more episodes before we get there. However, now that we are at the end of the cycle of unlocking all the basic ships, I am going to take a brief, a brief reprise from this. We're going to take a little break from doing FTL Unlock, and we're going to do something special. We're going to have a special FTL episode. And we're going to do it with the... Alright, let's see what ships do we not have the B versions of. We're going to do it with this one. Because we don't have the B version of this ship, and it's fairly easy to get. We only have to get six unique aliens, and eventually... Or, or um, get down to one hull, like we did this time, and then repair to full. Which is neat. Uh, we haven't unlocked the Lanius Type B yet. We have gotten close to it. Uh, we didn't get the 30 nebulas in this thing, unfortunately. We haven't tried this one yet. This one we haven't tried on camera, but I have tried it off camera. And I did get the stealth, the phase shift uh, achievement. Everything else we're doing pretty well with. We've got the B versions of these, and we've got the C version of this. So we're, do we're doing well. We're doing very well. And I will see you guys in the next episode. So uh, look forward to it. It's a special. And until then, bye bye